generally speaking, a fractional COO is usually somebody who's working with the team a few days a week, depending on the stage of the company, to help set up systems and structures and processes um, that can help the team grow and excel, both you know, physically in terms of adding people, but I think even more so than that, helping support with the strategy side of you know, we're here today, we want to get there, how do we do that? And usually it's through goal setting, strategic planning, um, being really thoughtful about kind of what are the resources and um, uh, opportunities that the company needs to be able to access to continue that growth path. Um, And what's really cool about it is that I get to kind of often embed with the team, get to know the team, in some cases help hire new folks on the team um, and really work collaboratively um, across the organization uh, to help make things happen. I think I've done everything from come in, you know, as a team of one and then leave the team. Um, I can think specifically of a customer success team where I came in, um, helped with kind of the first external enterprise contract they had and then built the customer success team, and then ultimately like a fintech and lending team as well. Um, I've also, you know, had the opportunity of like for small, for a couple of small organizations that are more impact focused that really just need somebody, you know, to make sure that legal docs are in order, that new lines of business have, um, you know, the right, that we're considering the regulatory side of things, that we have the right strategy for the upcoming year, that we, you know, building a, a pipeline for kind of new contracts. Um, so I would work closely with the CEO in that context to help kind of make all of those systems move or run smoothly. Um, and the opportunities I've had to learn in different fractional environments mean that I have a ton of experience that I can bring uh, to the startup that I'm working with, even if I'm working with other organizations that help me be a better and stronger operator um, because I've seen how something has played out in five or 10 or 15 different organizations and have a clear sense of this might actually be a good path for your organization. And, you know, I hate to say this, but the reality is is that many startups experience the same problems just at different stages. And so once you have built an organization um, and you've, you know, done that from, in our case, like four people to over 300, um, or you've been part of large organizations, many of these problems are the same problem. They just show up in different shapes and forms. And so um, a lot of it, and, and not all of it, because, you know, there are unique things about problems as well. Um, but oftentimes there's a pattern or there's a, there's a consistent line that you can draw um, between many of the challenges that organizations are facing.